Convex Lens Image Formation and Magnification Aim To study the image formation by a convex lens using a lighted candle placed at different positions. Principle A lens that converges a beam of light incident on it is called a convex lens. Convex lenses are thicker in the middle and thinner at the edges. The nature, position and size of the image formed by the convex lens depend on the position of an object. It can be studied by keeping the object and the lens on the same straight line and observing the image for different object distances. Materials required Thin convex lens A lens holder A semi-transparent screen fixed to a stand A meter scale A small scale of 15 cm a lighter, a small candle with a stand. Procedure As a first step, let us find the approximate focal length of the given lens. Take a thin convex lens. Place it vertically on a lens holder kept on a table. To determine the approximate focal length of the convex lens, focus rays from a distant object for example, a tree using a convex lens and obtain an image of the object on a screen placed on the other side of the lens. Move the screen back and forth to obtain a sharp and clear image. Measure this distance between the screen and the lens as the approximate focal length of the lens, F. Now, let us study the nature position and relative size of the image formed by a convex lens for various positions of the lighted candle. Mark the points F1, 2F1, F2 and 2F2 on either side of the convex lens. We will study the image formation of a convex lens with reference to these points. The five different cases are Case 1 Object beyond 2F1 Case 2 Object at 2F1 Case 3 Object between F1 and 2F1 Case 4 Object at F1 Case 5 Object between F1 and optical center of the lens O Note that for obtaining distinct and sharp images of the candle flame, it is advised to perform this experiment in a dark room or at least in the shade where no direct light reaches the working table. Light a candle using a lighter. Place the lighted candle on one side of the lens. The flame in this lighted candle will act as the object in the following steps. Make sure the flame does not flicker and maintains its height. The optical center of the lens and the center of the candle flame should lie at the same height. Case 1. Object beyond 2F1 Choose the distance between the candle flame and optical center of the lens to be greater than twice the approximate focal length 2F obtained for the convex lens. Record this distance as object distance U in the observation table. Move the screen placed on the other side of the lens and obtain a sharp image of the flame on the screen. This distance between the lens and the screen is taken as image distance V. The image lies between F2 and 2F2. Notice that the image is real, inverted, and diminished. Record the observations in a table. Case 2 Object at 2F1 Place the candle at 2F1 Adjust the position of the screen to obtain a sharp image. Notice that the image will be formed at 2F2. The image formed is real, inverted, and of the same size as that of the object. Record the observations in a table. Case 3 
object between F1 and 2F1. Place the candle at a distance between F1 and 2F1. Adjust the position of the screen to obtain a sharp image. Notice that the image will be formed beyond 2F2. A real, inverted and enlarged image is obtained in this case. Record the observations in a table. Case 4. Object at F1. Place the lighted candle at the focus F1. Move the screen back and forth. Notice that no image will be obtained on the screen. Remove the screen and observe the highly enlarged but blurred image formed on the wall at the end of the room. A real, inverted and highly enlarged image is obtained in this case. Record your observation. Case 5. Object between F1 and O. Place the candle at a distance between F1 and O. Move the screen back and forth. Notice that no image will be obtained on the screen. Now look at the candle flame through the convex lens and observe the nature of the image. Note that the image formed is virtual, erect and magnified. Record the entire observations in the table. Results a convex lens can form real and virtual images. Real images are inverted, while virtual images are erect. Based on the position of the object, the image formed can be diminished, enlarged or of the same size.